Hello and welcome to the John Stoltrager Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Swimming Head Coach John Stoltrager. And Coach, uh, you wrapped up the dual meet portion of your schedule this past week. You went to Arcadia, very strong. You know, they've been swimming pretty well. Um, but you guys swam pretty well in certain events on Saturday. Just kind of talk about you know how that meet went for you. Well, it was again, it was, it was a tough meet for us. We were coming off a, a long hard month of doubling almost every single day. Uh, we had one girl left to qualify for our conference meet and i um, happy to say that, that Megan actually qualified in both the 100 and the 200 breaststroke, uh, doing her lifetime best in her two breasts by uh, almost seven seconds. So it was it was a good swim for her. And again, the, the, the team kind of just pushed their way through the meet, mm -hmm. which is what you expect at this point of the year. Um, you know, again, using our mantra of trying to swim, you know, learn how to swim fast when you're tired. Um, I, you know, I think they accomplished that goal. Yeah, I know we've talked about that all year, like swimming tired. Obviously, you know, I think, like you said, a hard month of training. Third straight Saturday was a dual meet. Obviously, that was the case, you know, on Saturday. Yeah, they, they are tired. And um, the nice thing is this week uh, we started taper, which um, we lost our lifting sessions. We've lost our afternoon sessions. Um, you know, we're going to kind of stay the course for this week as far as our morning practice and our intensity. But, you know, we, we've lost a lot of stuff already. Uh, and I can see the kids starting to rebound a little bit from, from the hard work. And, you know, we're starting to, you know, really get pepped up for uh, the conference meet. Yeah, we talked about just before we went on air about the conference meet. And um, you have an extra week this year in between the end, your last dual meet and the conference meet. Um, how does that affect what you do, your taper and everything else going, you know, as you taper down for the conference meet in a couple of weeks? Well, ironically, the, the thing that affects us more than anything doing, going a week later is that um, our last week of hard work, we start classes, which last year we didn't have to do. Mm -hmm. um, we started taper the first week that uh, the classes were in session, so we didn't have any conflicts with, like, afternoon practice because we didn't have any. Right. So we had to kind of work around that this year where um, some of the kids couldn't double every single day. Uh, actually, most couldn't. Um, so, you know, you have to try, and your, try to find your way around that. But, you know, the, the extra week – um, gives us a chance to do some things like this Saturday that we normally wouldn't get to do, um, you know, practice-wise, work on some fundamental things, mm -hmm. work on, um, you know, some technique stuff that, you know, last year we had to meet. We, had, we actually had Arcadia uh, a week into our taper. So, it, a, again, it gives us a little, a little better chance to focus on some of the, the, the finer things in, in swimming. Yeah. Advantage, disadvantage, or just something different? It's just something different. The kids would say that it's a total disadvantage <laughs> uh, because it's an extra week of swimming. Um, it's an extra week of doubles. Um, uh, you know, it, it depends on, I guess, the program. For right. us, it gives us an, another week of hard work um, to, to get ready for the conference meet. And I, I think it, it's, you're going to see it, that it's definitely going to pay off, you know, at the conference meet for us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Coach, uh, best of luck as you continue your training and get ready for the conference meet a couple weeks in. We'll talk to you next week. Great. Thank you very much. All right, for John Stoltrager, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the John Stoltrager Show.